What's up guys, LQ. I'm here to talk to you guys today about The Nun 2. Got to go see it. And what did I think about it? Well, first of all, I am a fan of The Conjuring Universe. Not all the movies have been good. Some of them have been not good uh, but I am a fan of the universe um, you know it's it's a it's a shared universe that um, has just enough scares and creepy aesthetic to keep me invested it's also not a gore fest I used to love gory movies by the way when I was younger I think the older I get just the more and more I get kind of detached from gory movies. Um, I don't really enjoy them really at all anymore. But The Conjuring movies is not that. The Conjuring movies are very atmospheric um, and very, uh, you know, they're, it def they definitely have their share of jump scares, but um, definitely a little more cere cerebral, you know, um, it's, it's the, it's the, situations that our characters that are put in that can be a little scary and the first nun movie i've only seen it twice i saw it in theaters and then i watched it once um on voodoo and it didn't really stick with me like some of the other conjuring movies have i liked it enough not enough to revisit it a lot but it, it was a very claustrophobic um kind of a slow burn type of a conjuring movie and the nun 2 i thought was quite a bit better than the first one it definitely expanded on the the character of valak gave you more um backstory gave you more motivation and also cr created a larger world for valak to play in you know most of the action was taking place in this boarding school but you, we saw a larger, kind of a larger uh, view of Valak's reach and what Valak actually wanted. Um, the the buildup, when we learned what Valak wanted, the buildup was very effective. And the payoff at the end, uh, the last 15, 20 minutes, I thought were, you know, the, obviously the highlight of the movie. Um, the artifact that Valak wanted, I had a hard time getting behind the why, or once Valak had it, the what would happen, and there were some things that came together at the end that made me question, okay, why, and for what? <laughs> um, but I was easily able to get past the ambiguity of this artifact that Valak wanted um, simply because I was so invested in the characters. I was invested in um, in, in the sister played by Vera Faminga's sister, um, the, the nun played by Vera Faminga's sister. Um, she, her story was great. I really enjoyed watching her character grow. Um, I also really enjoyed the 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 child in this uh, in this movie, uh, the daughter of the um, the boarding school teacher. Um, their dynamic was uh, was fun to watch, and I really bought into it. the The film opened with a very uh, kind of a violent kill, and then there was really just one other in this movie so it does not have a high body count in any way whatsoever it was definitely more focused on the the tension um, that was building throughout so I liked this movie I didn't love it and I think that Valak is a hard character to really um, to really tell a compelling story about because we've already seen the best Valak story in The Conjuring 2. So anything that comes after The Conjuring 2, I just feel like it's going to be hard to really get to that level. So that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, it was a good movie, not great. I enjoyed it. Like The First Nun, I don't know if I'm going to revisit it a lot, but it was definitely better than The First Nun. So anyways, that's my quick take on it. What did you think of The Nun 2? Let me know in the comments below.